In this video, I will show you how to use the Cloudmersive Convert document to PDF action in Nintex Workflow Cloud. The Cloudmersive actions are one of many connector action groups. The Convert document to PDF action converts all major Microsoft Office documents, HTML, and image formats to PDF format. The Convert document to PDF action is one of three actions in the Cloudmersive Convert documents action group in the Nintex Workflow Cloud Actions toolbox. The action has three fields to configure. The first field is the connection field. Here you can choose a pre-configured Cloudmersive connection that contains the Cloudmersive API key for your account. Please see the Nintex Workflow Cloud help files for more information about configuring connectors. The next field is File to Convert. This is where you specify the file variable that contains the file that you would like to convert to PDF. Clicking on the field or the Insert tab, opens the Insert Variables panel. File variables are populated by the output of actions that retrieve them from sources such as Cloud Storage, SharePoint Online, and Salesforce. File variables can also be populated from uploaded files attached to a Nintex Workflow Cloud Start Event Form. Note that your tenancy's default file storage location must be configured to hold files for later reference by the workflow. The last field is called PDF file and this is the output of the action. The field requires a file variable. If you have not created a file variable you can do so now by clicking the Add Variable option from the dropdown. As you can see the Cloudmersive Convert document to PDF action is easy to configure. I will now show you how it can be used in your workflows. In this scenario employees are required to upload a photo of their driver's license before they can drive a company car. The photo is converted to a PDF file and stored on the company's Google Drive. As the file upload control on a Nintex Workflow Cloud Start event form can contain multiple files, the output of the control is a collection. I will start by using a get item from collection action to retrieve the license image from the collection and store it in a file variable called license file. I will now use the Cloudmersive Convert document to PDF action to convert the document to a PDF. For the connection field, I am using my pre-configured Cloudmersive connection. In the file to convert field, I am using the license file variable that was output from the get item from collection action. The output of the action is a PDF file and I have created a variable called PDF license to use in the PDF file field. To store the file on Google Drive, I am using the store a file Google Drive connector action. When the workflow runs, we can see that the PDF file was generated and stored on the Google Drive. In this video, we looked at the Cloudmersive Convert document to PDF action. We found that it is useful for creating PDFs from documents and image files. For more information about the Cloudmersive Convert document to PDF action and the other actions used in this video, please see the Nintex Workflow Cloud help files.